Hello everyone and welcome to Fashion City. So today I want to teach you how to make that particular skirt that I've put up there. Now it's very very easy, especially if you can draft a skirt pattern either using freehand or pattern making. Now the first thing you're going to say is, why does my skirt pattern look this way? Yes, normally you're supposed to have something like this where we'll be like, okay, this is center, back and this is your back pattern and then i would say oh this is center front and this is so you'd have two pieces of this one for your back and one for your front but because of this the way this pattern the way this skirt is i'm just going to show you how i've created my patterns so this is the normal um you know quarter pattern for the back but for the front you're going to have a full piece with your back pattern. So it's a normal way, just ensure that um, it looks this way. Both the front, the full front and the full back is there. So this is the reason why, because of the of the wrap effect. So let's, let's just start and then you would understand. So the first thing that you would see, there are three things that you can see in that particular skirt. The first thing is that there's a, it's actually a wrap skirt, but the, there are two pieces of um, the front. There are two front pieces. One has the wrap and one is just plain underneath. But because it's underneath, you can't see that it's plain. So how do we create that wrap, you know, that has the twisted, it looks like a peplum and it's just looking gorgeous. So let's start. We're going to mark points. The first thing you would notice is that there's like a diagonal line here. So I'm going to say, okay, I want this diagonal line to start from here and probably end from here. So I'm going to get a ruler and draw a line. Good. So I've drawn the first line. The second thing is you would notice that there's also a line that's, that ends here. And it ends exactly on the center front line before it goes up here. So I'm just going to say, okay, I want it to end here. So you mark your point and draw another line. So this is my second line. So the third thing you would see is that this line goes here. So this is how to actually create the pattern. Now, once this line goes from here to here, it's like a curve. What happens is that when you cut it out and you fold it back, it ends exactly here. Now, you know that it ends, the peplum actually ends here. So what you have here should be what you have here. So I'm just going to assume that this is it. And then I would draw a curved line. You can use your hand, but I'm going to use a curve ruler. So let me get my curve ruler. So I'm just going to use my curve ruler. And I'm going to make sure it's a perfect curved line. So. So I've done this, right? The next thing that we're going to do is to cut it out. So I'm just going to cut it out. Now I have my cutouts. Now before, this is exactly how the cutout looks like. Now this is just the first part. How do we draft the second part? Look close. If you notice, there's like an, ex <clears throat> excuse me, there's an extension here. So we're just going to draw a line from here to here. Now note, in making wrap skirts, you have to be extremely careful because the lines that you draw has a tendency to expose your ties because this is literally your front. So the higher this line goes, so imagine if this line comes like this. See this white space is literally in your front, you know, so you have to be very careful. So this line right here shows that is not too exposed, right? So this is it. So we have two patterns. So this is all you do on this pattern. So I'm going to trace out. This is your master pattern. You, you don't cut this, you trace out. So I have my traced out patterns. So this is one piece and this is the second piece. How, and they're all, um, 
they all have their labels this is the center front this is the center front so i'm just going to place this here exactly on the center front now how do we twist twist one and twist two and this is how it looks it looks exactly like the skirt so if you're wondering how how is it that this is looking exactly like the skirt this is how it looks exactly like the skirt see this place here this is a whole half while this back you know this is an a, a full back so this is one half, two half, three half. That's actually one and a half. So all this space is enough for you to fold, you know, into this and fold back. And, it, and this literally looks like the front piece, right? So that's why I had to draw this part here. I had to add the back to the front so that I can get enough to fold when I curve my line. So it's very simple. If you have to watch this video all over again to get it, because literally when I was trying to create this, you know, the first time I had to learn it, I watched and watched and watched. I even got paper and I cut it out. So it's so simple. You can, instead of um, creating your full pattern, you can use paper first of all, mark out your um, measurements and then, you know, create your back pattern and create your full part and um, full front pattern and then just do something you know like a sample and you see how easy it is i just fold it you can fold it anyhow you know depending on how you want you can even do two folds you see this one here and one here is exact right and gives me exactly what we're looking at in the sketch but if you want to do two folds it means that this two spaces you divide it by half you fold small, come again, and you fold another small, you know, and then you now get this exact. So you see we have two twists. So it's seriously easy. So thank you for, for watching and watch out for my next pattern hack. Bye-bye.